Hi everyone, welcome to today's um, Tech Tetpet or Teaching Tetpet. I do ask a humble apologies for that, uh, for that little noise in the background. It's just my feathery friends, they are making a bit of a noise here. Um, I don't have a soundproof room where I can record at this stage, so I'm sorry about the noise. Hopefully you folks will hear me, and if you hear the birds, well, just think of it as a lovely backdrop okay <clears throat> so today i have decided to create or to to actually uh, dedicate to things that i find interesting things that i want to teach things that i want to it's not necessarily jaws or nvda related it's just simply things that i want to inform and teach you folks about maybe you know it maybe you don't and if you do please bear with me because there will be those who don't I want to speak about how to create a shortcut key for an item if you know that you basically use the app a lot. I'm lazy. Oh, I'm very lazy. I create shortcut keys for everything I can think of. And then I store them in a file in Notepad and I refer to them once in a while. If I forget but I want to speak about that now you don't even have to have the app on your desktop to create a shortcut key for it so I'm gonna press I'm gonna I'm gonna press start Search box edit, type text. and I'm going to use Microsoft Word as an example so I'm gonna type word w oh what's app, app, R, word, app. Press right to switch preview. Oh, there goes Windows landed on or highlighted the word app I'm going to press the Applications key on my laptop, or Shift F10. Applications, main, main, context menu, list box expanded. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. And I'm going to go down. Context menu, list box expanded. Run as administrate. Open file location, 205. To go to open file location. Enter. Programs, items. Word, 2000, Word, 2000. I, I highlighted the Word app, and now I'm going to go to Properties. Context property enter leaving menus programs. I and you will now be on the property page, and the first thing that will be highlighted will be target edit C program files Microsoft. Where the shortcut originates from, where it will run. I will press I will just press tab here. Start in edit type and text alt plus s. Keep it that way. I'll press tab. Shortcut key, hot key, none to define the hot key type the keystroke combination. And here it is. I'm going to create Control Shift and W as the hotkey. Control Shift W. I'm going to press Tab. Run combo box normal window one of three to change the selection. Use the arrow keys Alt plus R. I like my stuff to run maximized so that the screen reader can read as much as possible. Minimize maximized three of three. And then you press Alt A for apply. You may encounter a screen. That asks you for permission. You must just grant permission. Alter. Access the night dialog. You will need to provide administrator permission to continue button. I'll just press enter on continue. Enter, run combo box. And press shift tab twice. Um, Shortcut cancel yeah. button. Okay button. Shift tab three times to okay. Enter. Programs. Items. And I'm going to go and alt F4. Alt F4. Desktop. To go to my desktop. Back to the desktop. Let's see if the shortcut worked. Control and shift and W. Let's see. Control shift W. Task bar. Open in Microsoft Word. Open in Word. New list box. Excellent. Alt F4. The yes. shortcut worked. And that, folks, is all for today. Thanks a lot for listening.